I want the world to know that I'm very, very angry, and I absolutely and positive that the justice system did not work for us. Seven times Diane Weaver has been before a state board to argue Matthew Solomon should never be free. She's just been notified her daughter's killer will be paroled. I never expected him to get out. I thought the justice system would realize that he's a sociopath. Back in 1987, Solomon duped her, police, and the public. When he orchestrated a charade, leading search parties, insisting his newly wedded bride, Lisa, was missing. When you give up hope, that's when you, you stop doing anything, and I'll never stop doing it. So yeah, she's alive. She's alive somewhere. And I'm going to find her. In fact, he had killed her on Christmas Eve, later confessing to strangling her in an argument accidentally, he claimed. Sentenced to 18 years to life, he served 30. In prison, he married twice and fathered a child. Matthew was my brother. His sister, Judith, who disowned him after the trial, now worries about the safety of those who have fought to keep him behind bars. He didn't just murder my daughter. He killed us all. He destroyed both of our families. He bought bags and he bagged her and he left her at a at a dump. It's sick. It's sick. How do you find the defendant Matthew Solomon? Guilty. Solomon was convicted of murder by depraved indifference to human life. The parole board considers release based on factors such as time served, the severity of the offense, the safety of the community, rehabilitation, and remorse. In 2017, they noted all you have accomplished during your incarceration, but suggested Solomon had not yet accepted responsibility. What's changed? The transcript of the recent parole hearing has not yet been released since he was not convicted of premeditated murder and served more than his 18-year minimum. His trial attorney believes he should have been freed years ago. I don't see any reason that he shouldn't be, really. That, would, that was not his history before, and I doubt if it will be his history after. He's going to walk the streets, and he's going to live his life, and, and he, we've not had that. We've not had that for 30 years, and we will never have that now. The parole board did set conditions of Solomon's release that he participate in anti-aggression and domestic violence counseling and abstain from alcohol. On Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.